guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys before I get into this video, um, and if you don't care, then you can just skip through this intro, but um, I felt like it was pretty important to just kind of give you guys a little backstory about my last ferret video because... Honestly, I've been getting a lot of hate and I feel like I just need to address some things. I feel like most of you guys know that I am a huge animal lover and I would never impulsively buy or even adopt an animal unless I knew how to take care of them. Obviously, YouTube isn't always what it seems to be, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, like, I made it look like I just randomly decided to buy a ferret, which I kind of did in that moment, but I've been wanting a ferret my entire life, so it's not like I just was like one day, oh, I'm gonna get a ferret because they're cute. It wasn't like that at all, and I apologize for the people that felt that way. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on how to care for it. My animals are all extremely spoiled. Um, they all sleep in bed with me. My ferret will sleep with me at the beginning of the night usually and then I'll put her in her cage because she wakes up at random times in the night and crawls on Luke and it freaks him out. <laughs> so, but I mean, she's super spoiled. She has a ton of blankets and toys and things in her cage and she's really not in her cage very often and even filming this intro I'm having like anxiety that she's down in her cage because I usually just like if I'm home she is always running around with the dogs and everything right okay so we're gonna go wake her up because um, I want to show you guys her cage and show you where she goes to the bathroom and all that good stuff and then we'll come up and I will talk more about ferrets she's sleeping Oh, oh, you're on that side. Hi, sissy girl. Hi, love, love. How's my girl? I love her so much. She's so sleepy. So usually um, when ferrets wake up, they immediately have to go to the bathroom, but she likes to go to the bathroom upstairs when she wakes up, when I get her out of the cage. So I'm gonna show you guys her cage really quick and then we're gonna take her to the bathroom this up she already went to the bathroom a couple times today I use puppy pads instead of um, litter boxes just because she makes such a big mess um, with the litter everywhere I use this stuff and then I so I wipe that down with that cage cleaner and then I put a new pad down um, I use this water bottle because she always spills like water bowls food bowl back here I feed her Y Song Epigen Epi, Epi, I don't even know how to say this, but I've done a lot of research and this seems to be the best ferret food that you can buy. So I highly recommend this. She really likes it. To help reduce her smell, I use these uh, Marshall's Ferret Daily Spritz. Um, the tea tree one is my favorite just because it has a better smell. The one in the back is more of like a powdery smell and I don't really like it. Then to also reduce her odor from internally, I use Goodbye Odor by Marshall's. Um, you just put a pump of that in the water. I don't do it all the time. I honestly kind of forget. But that also helps a little bit to help their smell from, in their odor from internally. So up here, I just have a ton of blankets. Um, she's like going crazy. Here, Coco, sit in here for a minute. So I clean her blankets at least once a week just because I'm anal. I mean, there's some weeks where I'm like super busy and I can't get to until like every other week. Um, in her bed, I have uh, one of my t-shirts. It's actually like a part of one of my t-shirts because I turned a shirt into a crop top. So I gave her the rest because it kind of just makes her feel like she's like close to me and she like can smell me. I have a hammock right here. And then I also have a hammock down here as well. And oh, she brought, oh my gosh. Okay, so this thing actually belongs right here um, just to cover up the bottom of the cage so she doesn't hurt her feet, but she likes to bring it in this little hammock, so. So let's talk about ferrets. Oh my God. My Husky and Coco are best friends. 
Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok or any other platform, you will see they are literally buddies. It's so cute. She's still so tired. My love book. Let's talk about their diet. Ferrets are carnivores. Um, which is so crazy and that was something that really surprised me because they're just so little and I can't imagine them eating like another animal But I don't feed her raw meat like that She actually like I've tried to cook chicken for her and she won't eat chicken. She's really really picky actually It's really funny because I I've never had an animal be picky before I cooked chicken the other day I mean it, it didn't have anything on it. It was just plain chicken no salt no pepper and she would not eat it. I tried to get her to eat it and she was not interested. Um, and then I have like three different kinds of ferret treats for her, like peanut butter and then one's like a different flavor and she will not eat that either. So you kind of just have to figure out like what they like. Um, she likes her food, but she loves dog food. And I've been reading up on it and you're not, it's obviously like not good for them to have dog food as their main course because it doesn't have the nutrients in it that ferrets need um, and ferrets shouldn't really have a lot of fruits and veggies and there's a lot of fruits and veggies in dog food. Sometimes my dogs will leave a couple pellets in their dog food bowls and she will sneak over to it, steal it, and then run underneath a dresser and eat it. So I try to keep an eye on it because I don't want her eating it but she loves it. I don't recommend like giving them dog food, but if they have a couple pieces here and there, it's not going to kill them. Um, but they are very sensitive animals too, so you do want to watch their diet. Um, like I said, I feed her Epigen or Epigen or I don't know how to say it, but it is one of the best ferret foods. I get mine on Amazon and I have it delivered like every other month every month I can't remember ferrets always need to have food in their bowl um, because they kind of eat at their own pace so that was something that I learned too because it's not like a dog you don't feed them like once in the morning once at night you just make sure that there's always food in their bowl and same goes for water she drinks a lot of water ferrets sleep 18 to 20 hours a day which is insane um, they really are honestly easy animals. Um, I mean they do need a lot of playtime when they are awake. I have dogs which makes it so much easier. Um, they do say that if you buy a ferret you should actually buy two because ferrets get really depressed easily when they are alone. Which in my case it's different for me. I don't need two ferrets because I have two dogs and her and the husky are best friends and they play all day long. They literally chase each other around the house and they cuddle, it's so cute. I've read that you really only need them to be out of their cage for like an hour to two hours a day. I think that is so awful. I don't know why, I just like can't imagine her only being out of her cage for two hours a day. Like, no way. She needs, she's an animal. She needs to be like free and like run around and do what she wants. I just don't like keeping animals in their cage. I just feel like that's such an awful life to live. I mean, I don't judge people. I know like, there's people that work a lot, but I just don't want to leave my baby in cage. So how I chose her, um, I literally have been to the pet store multiple times. I used to just go to the pet store just to look at the ferrets. Like that's how obsessed I've been with ferrets like my whole life since I was probably seven. I would always like put my hand in the cage and play with them. And the one day I went in and I've been like contemplating getting one for so long. And I was playing with the three ferrets in the cage and the two like bit down, like attacked my hand and bit down really hard and she just licked me and sniffed me and played with me and I was like, I want her because she has such a cute face and I love her so much. Also, ferrets are misunderstood. They are very loyal animals. She has the sweetest personality and I feel like a lot of people just think that they're in like the, the mouse and the rat family, but they're not. They're actually in the otter family and the skunk family. You can't treat them like a rat or a mouse or a hamster. They're not like that at all. Um, their lifespan is, Google will say five to ten years, but the majority of them live seven to eight. Stella, get out of her butt. Honestly, it's not long enough with these little guys, but 
I'll take what I can get. Um, bath time. Ferrets only need to be bathed uh, once a month, sometimes two times a month. That's kind of a little too much. But for ferrets that poop in their cage or have a cage, um, she steps on her poop and I just feel like she needs to be cleaned from that kind of stuff. But if you do bathe them too much, then they their skin becomes really dry and their body will produce a lot of oils to compensate for that dry skin, which will cause them to actually smell worse. You okay, Mama? My chihuahua has a collapsed trachea. So now we wait for the water to drain because this girl likes to poop everywhere when she gets out of the bath. So we're going to make sure that that poop doesn't get outside the bath. <laughs> Speaking of like bathing and all that, she needs her nails trimmed probably, well actually we need to trim them next week. Like I would say every two to three weeks I trim her nails. Um, you can do it more often. I guess it just depends on the ferret how long their nails or how fast their nails grow. You also need to make sure that you're cleaning her ears or his ears. I get a q-tip wet and I just kind of clean her ears a little bit. You don't want to go in too deep but it just it does help with the smell because their ears tend to have an odor. If you know anything about ferrets you probably know that they do have a musky smell. Um, it's really not terrible. Um, most ferrets in America are scented. I forget what it's called. In the glands like in the back by their butts but they still have glands um, by their ears that do kind of produce that odor a little bit. You can try other things to kind of like help with the odor. If you keep things clean, keep her cage really clean, you'll be fine. And I actually bought um, an air purifier from Amazon. It's called Lavoit. Um, I'll link it down below, but that has helped a lot just kind of like deodorizing the room. Um, from, I mean, just having dogs and a ferret. Like I said, that tea tree spray helps. And then the tea tree shampoo does help too um, because it actually has like a pretty strong smell. So for the bathroom in the house, the easiest way to go about this I would say is when you get a ferret, just let them sniff around the house. If you don't want them in a certain room, shut your door. If you don't want them running behind the fridge or whatever, you know, try to block that off. Um, they do love to hide in things, so keep that in mind. I kind of let her like choose where she wanted to go to the bathroom. And her favorite spot is in the bathroom, which works out perfectly because um, it's right by the toilet and I clean by the toilet all the time anyway, so it just kind of works out. And I put a puppy pad there. They like to go in the corners of things. In the wild, they back up into things to go to the bathroom to make sure that nothing is going to eat them or attack them. So she's just trying to make sure that nothing's getting her, so she wiggles her butt back into a corner to go to the bathroom and then keeps an eye out on whoever is watching her. If you have dogs, make sure you clean their poop up, like the, fer the ferret's poop off the pad right away and put it in the toilet because dogs love ferret poop, just like cat poop. You don't want them to eat other animals' poop because that will cause them to have worms. She's literally sleeping right now. If they do bite you, which she's never bit me, um, she's just really sweet. Like she'll like nibble, like play nibble, but she never hurts me, so I don't punish her for like nibbling. Um, you can grab them by the scruff of their neck, and that kind of like teaches them like no, it doesn't bother them, so don't worry about that. Ferrets do like toys uh, and like tunnels and things like that. They will hide your shoes or other little things. Like I find my slippers everywhere around the house. I'm like, that literally came from one side of the house to the other side of the house. They have really strong jaws and they can like drag pretty much anything they want. I don't think all ferrets are cuddlers. I just got lucky with this one. Definitely do your research before getting a ferret because there is a lot of things that you should know. Um, because they are very sensitive animals and I don't think a lot of people realize that and I think people just think oh it's just like a hamster you can just keep it in the cage and then pull it out when you want to but she does require a lot of playtime when she is awake <laughs> she's very curious oh hello Oh my 
gosh. What are you doing? Fuck me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so if you see her, them starting to back into a corner, pick them up and put them where they're supposed to poop. There. Okay, I shut the door because I think she needs privacy. <laughs> she gets weird when I stare at her when she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> She loves grabbing onto my socks. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that, sub subs that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>